Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Today, we are doing a video comparison, or a player comparison video, more like, between Chelsea player Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba, or at least for the moment, Manchester United player Paul Pogba. Anyway, before we do get into the video, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification icon to stay locked to my videos and hopefully you've been enjoying my content and you'd want to subscribe. <laughs> so, who are these two players we're talking about today? Well, you should know about Ruben Loftus-Cheek and if you don't, I'd urge you to go back a few videos and check out the video I did on the young Englishman. I go into him quite comprehensively in terms of looking at his stats and talking about him at Chelsea and he's recently re-signed so it's probably worth having a crack and a look at that video. Paul Pogba. Paul is a 26 year old French midfielder, a World Cup winner who plays for Manchester United, uh, very very talented, maybe a bit of an attitude problem which I'll talk about probably a bit more later, quite a mercurial player. Both Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Paul Pogba hail from their current team's respective academies. I mean, Ruben's been at Chelsea since he was a, a young kid, not so much Paul Pogba. But Paul left Manchester United to go and try different things, I guess. He went to um, Italy, Juventus, and enjoyed a great success there, won the Scudetto, and became a big name. I guess. In 2016, Paul Pogba made a sensational return to the Premier League to rejoin Manchester United. Yes, hashtag Pog back. He uh, rejoined Man United and played under Jose Mourinho for all. A world record transfer fee of 90 million, which at the start time seemed ridiculous. And it was, and it kind of started off this trend of just mental transfer fees, which, you know, eventually led to the Neymar fee, which was fucking 250 million or something, I don't know. But the point is, Paul Pogba can be a very, very good player when he fancies it. I'm digressing a little bit when I talk about the narrative, but I just want to sort of set the scene a little bit. So, they are quite different players. They both occupy the same sort of space on the pitch, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Paul Pogba, that is. But they are different players stylistically, and I'll, I will get into that. When it comes to the sort of psychological player profile comparison this very different also Ruben Loftus-Cheek's kind of like a humble he's not like an outspoken player he's humble he keeps his head down he applies himself he does his talking on the pitch and he's earned himself a five-year contract extension at Chelsea FC he seems very happy to be extending his contract at his boyhood club and he's on about 150k a week now which sounds like a lot but really it's not that much he's earned it and it's still only half as much as what misfiring striker Marcus Rashford is getting at Manchester United. It's a bit different with Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba, his head can often drop on the pitch. He can say the wrong things off the pitch. He's sort of mercurial, ego-driven. I do like Paul Pogba, he's an excellent player, but he does seem he's got that sort of petulance about him. And unlike Ruben, who wants to sign a new deal for his boyhood academy club, Paul Pogba is trying to use his agent slash overweight, money-hungry reptilian figure, Mino Royola, to navigate a move out of Manchester United. Now, although I do think there's a petulant nature about Paul Pogba and he's not always my favorite character in terms of a footballer applying themselves to the game, you can sort of have a bit of sympathy of why he wants to leave Manchester United. If you were in his position, a player of his ability, I'd want to leave Manchester United. But then again, I personally don't have any affinity to Manchester United and I guess Neither does Paul Pogba. Right guys, so I'm gonna do a statistical comparison of these two players today, but before we get into it, I do wanna preface it and caveat it with a couple of things. Obviously, they are different players stylistically, and you'll learn that when you look at the statistics, but they do occupy the same place on the pitch, um, and that's important, they're both midfielders, and if they're gonna both occupy the same sort of space, the comparison is fair and obviously Pogba's played a lot more time than Ruben Loftus-Cheek, about three times as much you'll learn, but still Ruben's played a decent sample size and enough to analyse his game and what you know numbers he's delivering. So on that let's look at the numbers. Alright then so we're going to start with goals and assists but for Pogba and Ruben, Ruben doesn't take penalties, Pogba does take penalties. And I want a fair play comparison in regards to how they 
deliver an open play. So I'm going to remove Paul Pogba's penalties. He scored a handful last season. He's missed a few as well. But because for me that's kind of irrelevant in this particular comparison, I'm going to remove Pogba's penalties. So last season in the league, Ruben Loftus-Cheek scored six goals and executed himself two assists. And that was in only six starts, so that's eight goal contributions in just six starts for the young Englishman. Paul Pogba also scored six goals from open play last season, but he wrecked himself up a handsome nine assists to go with that. And that was in 34 starts, so that's 15 goal contributions in 34 starts for Paul Pogba. So for Ruben Loftus-Cheek, he scored a goal from open play every 164 minutes. And the Manchester United midfield Paul Pogba is scoring a goal from open play every 502 minutes. Yeah, looking good for Ruben there. Right, so off the bat, Ruben Loftus-Cheek is looking like a much bigger goal for it than Paul Pogba. Sure, Paul got a few more assists and that's very good. Probably more of his game, but he played over three times the amount of minutes than Ruben with 3,012 minutes. So... Yeah, so stylistically you can see the difference already. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, much more of a goal threat from open play, and maybe Paul Pogba, more of the provider. But remember, looking at a statistic, Pogba has played more than three times as many minutes as Ruben Loftus-Cheek. If you timed Ruben's stats by three, his two assists become six, which is good. It's not quite the nine of Paul Pogba, but maybe his six goals become 18. Maybe that's a bit ambitious, but even if he got mid-teens, that's like Frank Lampard's numbers. You know, that could be a, maybe a safe bet would say Ruben scored 14 goals from midfield and open play to Paul Pogba's six. I mean, his output and his average is a very, very good from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Right, let's look at some defensive numbers. Both Paul Pogba and Ruben Loftus-Cheek only managed to rack up 0.5 interceptions per game last season, which obviously isn't great, but perhaps... Well, it isn't really in either of their game to do that. They both want to sort of look forward and play the more offensive game. Paul Pogba's long legs do trump Rubens when it comes to tackles, with his 1.3 tackles per game to Rubens' 0.8 tackles per game. But with those attempted tackles, Paul Pogba conceded over three times as many fouls than uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek did last season. Paul Pogba was conceding 1.5 fouls per game last season when Ruben was only conceding 0.4. Now this is actually really poor from the French midfielder because if he's getting forward and he's constantly conceding fouls, he's offering free kick opportunities to the opposition as well as, you know, just breaking down play and causing a negative effect on your team. He needs to lunge in less when he's going in for the ball. Paul Pogba gets dribbled past 0.7 times per game when Ruben Loftus-Cheek only gets dribbled past 0.4 times per game, which is interesting because the long legs of Pogba, you think maybe he'd stop people from getting past him, but apparently not. He gets dribbled past more than Ruben. And when it comes to actually executing dribbles themselves, both Ruben and Pogba are pretty good and they both delivered 1.7 dribbles per game last season. Ruben Loftus-Cheek only got dispossessed once per game last season, where Paul Pogba got dispossessed an astronomical 2.5 times per game last season. Starting to look bad for Paul Pogba. Firstly, he's giving away much too many fouls everywhere, sticking his leg in, which is not great for his team. And he's getting dispossessed a lot. And when it comes to bad controls, Ruben wins once again with only one bad control per game last season, where again, an unacceptable number for Paul Pogba. He was doing 2.1 bad controls per game last season. It's really not good enough. And finally, a look at passes. When it comes to key passes, Paul Pogba wins with 1.6 key passes per game to Ruben's 0.7 key passes per game. That probably speaks volumes to how they are stylistically as players. And when it comes to passing accuracy, Ruben wins comfortably. Paul Pogba could only manage an 82% pass accuracy last season, whereas Ruben Loftus-Cheek managed an 88% pass accuracy. 82% by Pogba's serviceable, I guess. Maybe you'd want a bit more from a midfielder, should be better. But 88% from Ruben, that's an elite pass accuracy. All right, that's enough of the numbers for the moment. So you can probably tell from these stats and comparisons that they are different stylistically. Even if they're both sort of offensive central midfielders, 
you can tell their style is different. Pogba's probably more the provider with his key passes and assists, but Ruben is more of a direct player that wants to force the issue himself. Pogba can be a really positive catalyst for any team he's in, but from the stats I've just spoken about, he can also be detrimental. If you look at how many fouls he's conceding or all the bad controls or even getting dribbled past, that does not help the team and that's some stuff that I don't say he wants to work on because he's a good player, but it shouldn't be happening of a player of, of his level. And another really important thing to note and highlight, I'm talking about how different they are stylistically. If Pogba is going to be this provider, he needs to rely on other players being good around him, making those key passes, registering those assists, and relying on fellow players to be making the right runs. And if they don't, often he gets frustrated and the petulant behaviour can come out. Whereas if you look at a player like Ruben Loftus-Cheek, he's good at combining with fellow teammates, but he's less reliant on everyone else playing well. Ruben can pick up the ball, score the goal himself, dribble, take on, it's very strong, players bounce off him, and you can just bang him into any team and he's effective. So apart from being three years younger than Paul Pogba, Ruben Loftus-Cheek seems to have the better attitude and work ethic when it comes to applying himself in his Premier League team. We all know Pogba can be a world-class player and we've all seen his ceiling but it seems to come with a lot of negative attributes as well but when it comes to the young English midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek I don't think anyone's seen his ceiling yet. He's been immensely good for both Chelsea and England already but it looks like he's just gonna get better and better. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? I want you to get down in the comments and let me know your thought. I personally would want Ruben Loftus-Cheek in my team. You know I'm a Chelsea fan, but just more because he's a dedicated professional. That speaks volumes in modern football. And obviously, he's a very talented player. I'd like to get your thoughts on the situation. I think if Paul Pogba went to Real Madrid or back to Juventus, he would go back to Galactico level quality because he's got the surrounding players around him. But in terms of numbers and delivering in the Premier League, I'd rather have Ruben Lottisic. So yeah, get down in the comments, let me know. A big thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I'll drop a link. Like I said in the last video, I can't get my channel monetized for a while and I do invest a lot of time and money keeping the channel alive. So if you want to donate $1 a month to help me going, then I'll put a link to my Patreon in the description below. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you like the video, and yeah, enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.